is turning heads as she reinvents the classic Lois Lane character in Smallville. But this beauty, who hails from Canada's west coast, is making a name for herself in more ways than one. I think it was slightly intimidating going into a role that you, you know everybody knows about. That was Erica Durance almost three years ago talking to E-Talk in one of her first interviews after joining the cast of Smallville as Lois Lane. Now with the intimidation factor in check, Durance is looking to push the lowest boundaries and take the legendary character to new heights. I'd love to see Lois do a little bit more of the, the journalistic kind of stuff and just um, get her heavily involved in that. I'd love to do a lot more fight scenes, you know, investigating um, a lot and just have more of that steady line. I would be lucky to end up with someone as honorable as Clark someday. From House of the Dead to the Butterfly Effect 2, Erica has been gaining recognition on the big screen as well. She'll next be seen alongside water star Lisa Ray in Ecstasy, a movie based on the novel by Trainspotting author Irvin Welsh. On the topic of her racy new role, Erica told UK's The Daily Record, quote, this is a story revolving around the love drug Ecstasy, and it's fair to say that just about everyone is going to end up naked at some point in the movie. You know, you want to get bad sometimes and, you know, just have a little bit of that edge in there. Well, it depends. Are we in arms dealer territory or are we talking the crime game? But the real Durant is far from edgy, a trait her Smallville co-stars will never let her forget. There's more jokes as to what, you know, is a Canadianism, you know, with the other actors. They always give us a hard time because we're always apologizing and that sort of thing. Whereas, you know, when you're kind of an American L.A. actor, they always say, you never apologize. Just go and do it again, you know what I mean? Don't say, oh, I'm sorry. And so that's what I get ribbed for a lot. From gracing FHM's May 2006 cover and earning the number 38th spot in their world's 100 sexiest women issue to creating an online frenzy of dedicated fan sites. The world just can't seem to get enough of this decade's lowest lane.